Let's have a look at some teeth. This is a young animal. And we can see it does have deciduous incisors. There's going to be one, two, three. And then it's going to have deciduous only premolars. This is premolar two, three, and four. Remember when they lose teeth in their regular dental formula, the premolars are lost from the front, the molars are lost from the back. And there are no deciduous molars, okay? So, okay, so with this adult animal, we see that we have incisors one, two, and three. We may have a canine tooth if it is a male. Okay, females often have canine, but they, they just don't erupt through the surface. Then we may have a premolar one on top. That's known as the wolf tooth. That is often asked to be removed by horsemen. Then we have premolar two, three, and four. Molar one, two, and three. Okay, likewise on the bottom, premolar two, three, four. Molar one, two, and three. Okay. So let's come over here and let's look at this illustration right here. This is helpful to us because as we look at incisors, we see that the outermost surface is going to be cementum. So when we have eruption of the tooth, instead of collapse that dental sac just around the roots of the teeth to put the cementum on the roots, like we see in the brachiodont tooth, in the hypsodont tooth, it collapses around the whole tooth so that we have cementum on the surface. Okay, and then we have enamel, and then we have the dentin in here. Okay, so this white space is the pulp cavity. Here we have the infundibulum. Okay, so this image shows very nicely the infundibulum and the root canal, okay, and you can see on the outer surface of this is cementum, and inside of that's going to be the enamel. Enamel is going to come way down into the infundibulum, and then most of this inner material is going to be the dentin, okay. And so as we begin to wear down, we can see here. We have what's called the cup, okay? And notice there's enamel surrounding that as well, as well as out here, okay? We wear down further, and because we don't want to enter into that pulp cavity, the odontoblasts down here are laying down new dentin. So when we get down to the spot right here, we're going to see an enamel spot here, and instead of that pulp cavity, we're going to have new dentin laid down here, which is going to be darker. And this is known as the dental star. Okay? So if we look at these teeth here, we can see there's still a cup on this one. This one has lost that cup so that we have more of the enamel spot here. But then we see this darker dentin here and that is the dental star, okay? So this specimen here also has very nice canine teeth. If those canine teeth come in, which they only do in the male, it appears, then they would come in about five years of age. Now our, our incisors on the young animal, the deciduous ones are gonna be cup-shaped, okay, as we see here, okay? So the eruption of those deciduous teeth occur at about zero to two weeks and then about four to six weeks and then the last one about six to ten months, okay? So to round those off, we say six days, six weeks, six months, okay? Those are the deciduous teeth. Now, as the adult teeth start coming in, we're going to see they're going to be much more columnar-like in origin. So we see up here, the first adult incisor is going to erupt 
at two and a half years. Okay, the second one here is going to erupt at three and a half years, and the third one will erupt at four and a half years. Okay, so by the time they grow out, so that we're getting wear on the surface, that's about six months later. Okay, so that the first incisor erupts at two and a half, but it's going to then be in wear at three. The second erupts at three and a half, and it's going to be in wear at four. And the fourth is going to erupt at four and a half, and it will be in wear by five. Okay? If we look here at this specimen, we see that we still have deciduous premolars here. And we have one permanent one coming in, and we have what's called a cap. Okay? So our molars, remember we don't have deciduous molars, but our molars are going to come in at one year, well, about 9 to 12 months, or one year, two years, and then about three and a half to four years. Okay? The permanent premolars are going to come in at two, three, and four. Okay? So this last premolar is going to come in between two permanent teeth. Okay? Sometimes there's trouble with that, often not though. Looking here at the bovine teeth, we can see the difference between the deciduous teeth and the permanent teeth. The deciduous teeth we have incisor 1, 2, and 3, and then the canines can look very much like incisor. Okay? They're going to generally be in between 0 and 2 weeks of life. Okay? So the eruption of the permanents then, the first is going to come in at 1.5 to 2 years. The second permanent incisor is going to come in at two to two and a half years. The third is going to come in at three years. And then the canine tooth is going to come in at three and a half to four years. Okay? In this image we can see that all the incisors are in wear and that's going to be true at five years of age. Now I want to show you this specimen here because just like in the incisors, we've got infundibulums that are surrounded by enamel. And we've got enamel here. And remember, the whole tooth itself is surrounded by the cementum. So I wanted to show you this because it shows the cementum coming off. So when that tooth first erupts, it's going to be a little bit off-white because of the cementum. But then as it wears down to the enamel, it becomes more shiny white. And then, of course, this is the dentin in here.